Here we are with another edition of Android Apps Alert and the first app I want to show you is a widget called DigiClock. You can see it right here in the corner. It's very simple. It's got a nice little fading effect. It's got a, a shadow color. It's about uh, one by two in size. You can get it for free in the Android market. It's called DigiClock, D-I-G-I -I space uh, clock. There's a really great bookmarking service called Xmarks. What it does is store your bookmarks and Firefox on your computer or Chrome at home or Internet Explorer at work and then it syncs between all of all three of them through the cloud. Now the cool thing about this is now you can do it on your Android phone as well. It's not going to integrate directly with your Android browser but it will bring up a list of bookmarks that you can save at any time. So let's say I have a bookmark stored for my computer I can browse them from my Xmarks account and say, hey, I want to open this one up, and then that will go to my default browser app. Uh, another cool thing that you can do with this, you can set Xmarks to sync a specific folder on your phone. So let's say I sync my standard bookmarks apps. Now I can see something interesting on the web and say, hey, this interests me. When I add it to bookmarks, it's automatically going to sync up with my Xmarks account. So now I can go on my desktop computer and say, hey, what's that cool website I saw on my phone? Oh, it's DeviantArt, because I can see it in my Xmarks account. This costs you $12 a year to use. That's right, only $1 a month. So sign up now. You can get a free test uh, trial version for two weeks. After that, it's going to be the $1 a month. It's called Xmarks, and it's a really great service. Google Books has finally arrived. Uh, we've all heard the rumors of it and now we can see it in the flesh and it's pretty much what you would expect it's a standard reading app uh... you've got your night mode right here if i want to change i just go to menu uh... where is it settings and i can switch the theme to the day mode i can also change the justification instead of being left aligned i can do right aligned i can increase the spacing and when i go back whoop, you'll notice now it's easier for me to read and you can change the settings based on your own preferences uh... it's pretty much standard what you would expect it's got some photos in it here and there uh... it pulls from google books and it syncs with your online account uh... now the only problem i have with the app is that it doesn't really have that much browsing capabilities from directly within the app but when you click get ebooks it'll bring you to the web and from there you can browse google books you can order them online, you can browse by category, uh, filter according to free or paid, and once you have them, you can just sync up again and it'll save all of your books. You can search as well. Uh, for now, I, I still say that the, the Nook app or the Kindle app or whatever is better, but this is brand new, and in the future, you might prefer this. Uh, it's very light, very speedy, and it's a very good app. It's from Google Books. Download it now if you're in the U.S. only. Alright, for those of you with Android 2.2 or higher, you need to get the new Gmail app. It is pretty good and really nice. First of all, it's got better support for Priority Inbox. So press Menu, More, Settings, and then when you get there, click Priority Inbox. And when you do that, now you're going to see that your messages that are more important get pushed to the top. So all those uh, Viagra messages that you keep getting for whatever reason, I'm not going to judge you, but those are going to get pushed to the bottom. But the stuff from your boss, your wife, uh, your friends, your uh, clients, those are going to come up more. And you're going to notice them with the little double arrow icon on the left. So once you see those, you can click on them and say, all right, this is an important message. Let me see what they're saying. And from there, you can press menu and you can correct it. So if they got it wrong, you can say, hey, that's not an important message. Uh, other changes that it's got better support for filtering. So uh, your messages are going to be better organized. It's also got support for uh, more language, I mean, uh, more accounts. So it's easier to switch between messages. Uh, I can add an account here. It's easy to do that. And let's say I'm getting a message from multiple people. I don't have any emails like that at the moment. But let's say I want to reply. As you can see, there's a new page for reply. I can click there and choose to reply to all, just to one person, or to forward the message easily. I can switch to inline mode, and when I'm done, I just press send, and it's just like that. Uh, there's a, a lot of more performance changes as well. 
It only works if you have Android 2.2 or higher. So grab that if you have Froyo and above. And just go in the market and update your Gmail app. It's really great. For whatever reason, a lot of Twitter apps decided to update this week, and two of my personal favorites, Twitter and Seismic, were among them. As far as Twitter, uh, they made some better support for swiping. So when you're going down and you decide, hey, I want to switch columns, oh, yeah, column view. Uh, they have now columns for uh, conversations, favorites, searches, and lists. Also for your, your mentions, your direct messages, and the tweets from your timeline. Also, what they've done, pretty cool feature, it made a scrollable widget. So if you've got Launcher Pro or ADW Launcher or whatever launchers out there that support scrollable widgets, you can now get 4x2, 4x3, or 4x4, and you can browse your timeline from the home screen. Uh, that won't work with Sense or Stock Launcher or whatever thing like that. Seismic, on the other hand, they made some UI changes. Small, but very nice, very good results. They got this top bar here. Uh, when you tap on it, it brings you to the top of your most recent messages. Uh, they changed the look of it a little bit. And the big thing that they did is they added Salesforce Chatter. Now remember, Seismic supports Twitter, Buzz, and now Salesforce. So if you're in the enterprise or you need multiple accounts managements, or you just want a really good looking Twitter app that's simple but still does gets the job done, then check out Seismic. At this point, I'm going to leave you with a little PSA to remind you that the Android market has switched its paid apps policy. You used to be able to buy an app and have 24 hours to decide if you're going to return it. Now you only have 15 minutes. So keep that in mind when you buy apps. Uh, you've only got 15 minutes to decide whether or not it's worth keeping. You might feel green like you love Android right now, but with that new 15 minute policy, you're probably going to be red and pretty ticked off. Android apps alert. Signing out.